All right, I had to make a quick video today because I was very inspired to do this. And so I stopped what I was doing. I'm in the middle of working on a film and I just felt like I needed to reset my brain anyway. And I wanted to take my camera and do something that had nothing to do with my film, although it kind of has everything to do with my film. And what I'm talking about is, <clears throat> excuse my voice, I was doing a lot of screaming yesterday. I wanted to talk about two people who everybody asks me about all the time, and I figured I would share this today. Where do I get this music from my videos? Like, I have incredible music for my videos, and it's all original music. It's not one of these sites that you could go to and, you know, license the music or anything like that. It is two individual friends of mine who provide me with whatever music I want. They just send me stuff randomly and I get to use it and it's a great gift and I want to share them with you because I want you to contact them and use them for your films, your documentaries, your YouTube videos, whatever. Um, they're amazing people, two of the nicest human beings that I know on the earth and absolutely two of the most talented, most gifted musicians you will ever meet in your life. And I'm talking about Steve Peckman, who did the score of my movie, The Center of Distance, who is a saxophone player and a flautist and just an all-around great musician, composer, and Barbara Annell, a piano player on the level of Bill Evans, like incredible pianist, dedicated to the craft, loves her work so much. Both of them, Barbara and Steve, incredible human beings, like really amazing, generous, spirited people. And frankly, I think that's why their music is so incredible, because they're so incredible. And imagine the, the open-hearted spirits that they have to allow me to use this music for my YouTube videos. And they're also both going to be working on my next film. Steve did the score of The Center of Distance. He's a musical director on this next film. And Barbara's going to be very involved. And anyway, I wanted to share their links with you in the description below. And I just wanted to give you an idea. I met Steve a long time ago. He had a band called Monkey Works. He's a jazz, but also kind of an experimental musician, kind of Coltrane level, Ornette Coleman level player, um, who puts himself out there and tries new things all the time. And uh, I met him a long time when I was performing some poetry. And somehow we came together down in Asbury Park, New Jersey and shared a show together. And also he's come to a lot of readings of mine for when I was developing plays and he's come to see a lot of my plays when they're finished and we just became friends over the years. He was, he's like a true artist heart, you know, like a real artist and a real person. And so we just became friends, you know, like really, like real friends, you know. And he's got a beautiful family. Um, so the way he is is reflected in his life. You know, he's got all these people that love him and he's got beautiful, just a beautiful support system around him. Barbara, <laughs> I met her actually through her twin sister, Lillianelle, who is an incredible singer, songwriter, musician. Uh, Lily and I used to play all the same clubs in New York City for many, many years. And believe it or not, even though we played all the same places for many years, we never really knew each other until recently. And I'm still not quite sure how we came together, but we became really good friends. And I met Barbara through Lily. Um, Barbara found out about a play of mine called Brooklyn Quartet. And I made a mini series out of that play. And so Lily sent Barbara to the links and Barbara watched it, all four episodes. And one day I get an email with the most incredible music you've ever heard in your life. And a note that said, I was so inspired that I had to create this music to your story. I hope that's okay. She actually said, I hope that's okay. So, <laughs> I mean, imagine getting that kind of gift. Like she basically scored Brooklyn Quartet, even though I scored it first. Like I'm a musician too. So a lot of the music on my YouTube channel is my music, but all the good music is Steve and Barbara. So anyway, Barbara sent me that music for Brooklyn Quartet. We became friendly. Now I'm like really close friends with Barbara and Lily. Um, 
you know, we're like family together. And um, I don't know what to say, you know, other than I hope that you contact both of them. I am positive they will work with you if you contact them. They'll be reasonable. Um, and you will have original music, not stock music. No chance anybody else will have what you have. It'll be totally original. And I'm sure you could work out things with them where you could be the only one who uses it or it could be for everybody. You know, money talks when it comes to that kind of stuff. But I promise you, you will be dealing with the nicest human beings that you have ever met. And to meet people like that at the creative level that they're on, like the, you know, the, what can I say? The virtuosity that these two have, have reached with their music is very rare. It's very rare. And even more rare to meet people like that and find that they're just regular people, like really incredible human beings. So now I feel like I'm repeating myself. I just wanted to introduce you to them. Barbara Annell, Steve Peckman. I'm gonna leave the links in my description. I'm gonna put them right here too. And give them a call, give them a, you know, contact them on Instagram. And you too can have incredible music. And be sure to watch my movie, The Center of Distance. You'll hear Steve Peckman's incredible score. And we've, you know, we won a bunch of Best Original Score Awards for the film in various festivals all over the world. And the movie that I'll be coming out with next year, which has a working title right now, This Is The End For Me, um, you'll be able to hear both of their music in that. And um, that's all I wanted to say for today. You know, nothing else really. Um, and I hope, all I could say is that I hope that this is the video on my YouTube channel that goes viral because what would make me really happy is if these two incredible musicians and great human beings made a ton of money because of my work. That would make me feel like I did something really great in my life because they deserve all of it. So get to them and thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, please hit the like button. I'm doing all the YouTube things now and um, onward we go. So have a beautiful day, peace. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm using the Panasonic S5. I'm shooting with my Minolta 28 millimeter F2.8 Telesaur lens. It's an old manual lens. I'll say vintage, even though I know that, you know, some of these lenses to say the word vintage is kind of weird because they're just really old, but I really do love the way this lens looks. And 28 millimeters is absolutely my favorite focal length. Even though I love working at between 44 and 60 millimeters as well but I really love 28 millimeters I find it to be the most flexible of all and I'm in love with my Panasonic S5 and that's it just wanted to add that all right cool